Now this is what your mycodome will look like when you pull it out of the package. Just make sure everything's there. Now incubation is basically just the warming up of your substrate so the mycelium can run through the jar. You do this by just putting some warm water in the bottom bucket and then setting your temperature. Uh, now there's much debate on what the proper incubation temperature is. Uh, some say 86 degrees, others say room temperature, which is possible. You don't necessarily need heat to incubate anything. It just makes it speed up the process a little bit. So just as a happy median, I say 80 degrees. And then if you want to just edge up one degree at a time from there, never going above 86 degrees, then that's okay. But if you can just maintain 80 between 82, that's your best bet. Now here you can see we're stacking jars into the second chamber, the blue bucket. And in here I think we have about uh, 12 to 18 jars. And you can just loosely put the lid on top. Now after a couple of weeks, you'll see that uh, some jars are completely colonized with white mycelium. Other jars may not be finished, so you can just put those back in the incubator until they're completely done. And with the ones that are finished, like this one here, you can move to fruiting. Now here's a little trick if you want to expand your incubation room. You can actually replace the gray lid and use the dome as the top. And now you can just cover this with a blanket or a, a towel, or in this case we're going to put a, a pillowcase over the dome. This will contain the heat a little better. Now if you do do this, you're going to want to open up this incubator and rearrange the jars a bit because the ones at the bottom are going to be getting more heat than the ones at the top. Now you're basically going to want to get your grow chamber ready to go before you add the cakes. So you're going to want to add all of the lightly expanded clay aggregate that came with your kit. It's been portioned out exactly Now you want to connect the air hose coming from the fruiting chamber to your air pump. And go ahead and plug in your air pump. Now you're going to want to add just enough water until you see little air bubbles coming from the bubble disc through the water just like this. And now you're going to add your perforated tray. Now take your spray bottle and use some distilled water and just give the dome a good spray on the inside. And then you're also going to want to close the vent. This will allow enough moisture to build up on the first few days of uh, fruiting. Now a standard upgrade with the mycodome is usually six substrate jars, and they do just fine in this. Here you can see we just arranged them, five on the outside and one in the center. But you can actually do way more than that in this mycodome, in what I like to call a pyramid technique. And here we have 12 cakes. Every once in a while, maybe once a day, you're going to want to open up this dome and spray it down with water. Not only the inside of the dome, but the cakes themselves. And after two days, go ahead and open up that vent to allow air exchange.
Now you can use this fruiting dome separately outside or if you need to get a little more heat you can put it into the incubator like so. Now you're going to want to jack the heat up on the uh, incubator pretty high as with the dome is sitting like this on top of the incubator it's kind of hard for it to get heat. And here you can see uh, a week or two later oysters fruiting off of those 12 cakes. At this point it's probably difficult to open the dome and spray them down so you can just spray them right through the hole in the dome. Here's a different setup if you buy an extra fruiting chamber with the mycodome where you can incubate and fruit at the same time. Here's another example. When your mushrooms are ready to be harvested, uh, there's just a simple technique of how to remove the mushrooms from each cake. You just pinch and twist off. Now you're going to want to make sure you get all growth from the cake. And when you're done with this cake, you can use it again by dunking it. Uh, there is an extended video on our substrate jars on this same page. I recommend you watch it. Now once you've got all your mushrooms picked, you just place them on this perforated tray after you've cleaned it very well. Now you're going to place them inside of the incubator, but you can just unplug your incubator. You don't need heat for this. It just serves as a good vessel to dry the mushrooms. Now turn on your air pump and just place the tube inside the incubator and place the lid on. And about uh, a day or two later, you'll have perfectly dried mushrooms. Enjoy your Mycodone 3.0 and be sure to watch the other videos on our website.